Hey team, Ivan here. Wanted to reach out about my crooked glasses, right? Never wear your glasses and they seem a bit crooked. Maybe you slept in them uh, or just wearing them over time. I happen to look in the mirror and they seem like they're a bit off, one side higher than the other. Uh, one, when we feel that way, one of the biggest things we can do is when you're looking in the mirror, Try your best not to focus on your eyebrows or your nose. Those facial features, our faces are asymmetrical. So though we love our eyebrows to be perfectly even on both sides of our face, we know that's not true. So what we want to focus on is our eye, where it sits, to the top of the frame. And then on this side, our eye, where it's sitting, to the top of the frame. And as you're doing that, that will help you to gauge whether or not one side is higher or lower. Better than using our eyelashes, I'm sorry, our eyebrows to determine if one side is higher or lower. And another gauge for that, because keep in mind that when your glasses are on the table, and I'm going to use my laptop as a flat surface here, because as you can tell, our table is not very flat. There are going to be times that you will put your frame down and you'll notice that the frame is not flat on the table. And that is okay because our faces are not completely symmetrical. Our faces are not completely flat. So this could actually equal an even frame on our face. The way we would check it is flipping the frame upside down. So let's say you found an area that seems really crooked. You're going to flip your frame upside down and see when the frame front, this line here, is touching, is there a side that's not touching? And you can see there to see, all right, is there a side that should be manipulated up or down? And the trick here is on a plastic frame, metal frame a little bit different because we won't have to warm it up or heat it. But the trick here is if I take this temple, so here we're looking at the right side of the glasses, we're looking at the front of the glasses. If we're looking at the front of our glasses, this temple, as I move it down, the frame front will go up. So a adjustment down equals frame up. And if I want this side to go down, then I would adjust the temple up. So temple up equals frame down. And the same thing on this side. If I were to adjust this temple down, then the frame will go up. And if I were to adjust this side up, then it will go down. So they're opposite effects that you're getting. So on a plastic frame, so I know you don't have any special tools, special frame warmers and heaters, but I bet you have a mug and some hot water. So it'll take some nice steaming hot water. We're gonna just put the temple, you can see I have the temple almost as pretty much as high as it can in this mug. And what I'm going to do is as I let it warm up, that acetate is gonna get nice and malleable. It's easy to move and manipulate. The metal wire that's inside of there will hold will still hold true to anything that I adjust. And then as that plastic cools, it will solidify and hold it in place. So my goal here is if I wanted this side to go up, then I would take this, manipulate it down, right? And I'm going, I went quite a bit more than I wanted it to go, uh, knowing that it will flex back up a bit. But keep in mind, we're looking to adjust millimeters, just a fraction of an inch, right? So we're just gonna move it a millimeter and that would then raise this side up. And if it were the opposite and I wanted this side to go down, I'd warm that up the same way that I did and I could eliminate. So I'm just pushing down and then using my thumb and my middle finger to pull up so that way I get a little bit out of it. And as we saw here, right? Now they're far more even, this side. And now I know we said that that was uneven and that worked well, but just to show you the difference in how much we're changing it, I can heat this up again. And again, depending on how thick your frame is, 
Uh, it might take a bit longer than 20 or 30 seconds, um, depending on the type of acetate or how thick it is. You can also manipulate the bend. You can see I just added some there. And now you can see that the frame actually sits normally. Now again, a frame, or I should say it sits even, not necessarily normal, because an even frame may be uneven on your face. So just that was more of a gauge to see how much the frame has moved. Now all four points are touching, meaning both lenses and both temple lens. And if I were to flip it over, I'm not getting the same thing, mostly because this will not always equate. A lot of the times we put our glasses down this way thinking it should be even. We're always going to check them this way. But again, moving down, we'll get it the frame front up and then moving up we'll move the frame front down so that will help us there and in a metal frame if you had a metal frame you almost get to skip right to the good stuff because there's no need to heat it up in a metal frame I can already start to manipulate this down or I can manipulate it up right so I should hold it this way so it looks much more sense here we go I can manipulate it up. And again, it's just that little bit. You're never really looking to crank on the frame. This is a, a very uh, malleable metal that we have here in this very, very thin metal. So that's why you can see that that's kind of moving quite a bit. But in other frames, you would just give it just a little bit, hold it, let it set, and then try it on. And again, when you're thinking of even or uneven, you're looking at your eye, to the top of the frame, your eye to the top of the frame versus looking at any eyebrows or other facial features. And that should be helpful in getting your glasses aligned if one side needs to come up or down. Hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.